Hello, I'm Miss Cesarano, Head of Languages. Um, I look forward to welcoming, welcoming you all to French, German and Spanish A-Level. I'm Mrs Green and I teach uh, German A-Level and also Spanish A-Level. Bonjour, I'm Miss Subzak and I teach French A-Level. Hello, welcome. I'm Mr Craig. I teach German A-Level. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about um, life in a different language, a different language, and um, what you can do here with us for A level. Um, first of all, why would you choose it in the first place? Um, well, obviously, you'll be thinking ahead of sixth form um, and how languages might help you in the world of work in future. Um, certainly, if you're thinking of working for a large international organisation, um, languages will help you there. French, for example, is the language spoken in the United Nations and in the, dare I say it, to European Union. So they certainly will help you in the world of work. Um, and some professions in particular lend themselves um, really well to the study of languages or vice versa. For example, the media, an awful lot of the newscasters um, that you see on our TV screens every day have actually done languages at university before they have gone off to become um, to, to work in the world of broadcasting. So there's just a few famous names for you there. Um, I know people think today it's very much a global village, global economy, and why would we necessarily just want to stick to European languages? Well, French, German and Spanish at A-level can be the foundation for something completely different. And we do have students who've done um, European languages for A-level, who've then gone off to do something completely different at university. Somebody who left us um, this year in 2020, for example, has gone off to do German, but with Mandarin at university. Um, also, if you're preparing, thinking for thinking of further study, there are a lot of courses at university which are not necessarily just languages on their own, um, but also do require you to have a year um, having fun and studying abroad. Um, and I've just included a few there. You might like sciences, so you could do zoology with languages, physics and astrophysics. There are so many courses that you can combine with um, a language and they really like to see that A-level qualification to get in. Two of our former students are now in Munich on their year off and having an absolutely great time and loving speaking German. And one of our former students did work experience for the Elle Fashion um, magazine in Paris. So, Again, why you choose languages at A-level? I know there are a lot of cliches. Um, every subject likes to think that if you take that A-level, it will really help you in the world of work. But I think the main thing to think is um, it does have something for everybody. The courses are very, very varied. So if, for example, you're really interested in the environment, um, there is a unit um, in German that talks about um, the environment and um, all of the new initiatives out there to protect the environment. Um, and even in Spanish, for example, we look at the impact of mass tourism um, in Spain. So you might like the environment, you might like TV and media. There is a section on TV and media for all three A-level subjects. Um, how society changes, things that were important in 2009, um, in 2019 uh, were no longer important and the other way around. Um, or you might really like history and each language there is something in there about um, 20th century, 20th century history. Um, on the other hand, literature might be what you like. We do contemporary fiction. You've got to hear some pictures of the uh, really popular French uh, short novel, Not et Moi. That is something that's studied in French. Each language, there's a section on film. You do the film in year 12. So I think we all recognise Penelope Cruz here. Um, Spanish film there being studied. And also there's a great section on um, there's a great section on festivals and traditions. For example, what do people do in France, Germany and Spain for New Year? Um, the big difference I think between what you do lower down in the school and what you do at A level is there's an awful lot more depth and breadth of knowledge there. You can see there what we study in year twelve. 
The only slight difference is that in French and Spanish we do the way uh, society is changing, whereas in German we study the environment in detail in year 12. Other th otherwise, the three subjects, um, the courses kind of run parallel. And in year 13, in year 13, um, you can see there's more of a focus on history and we study, we study the novel or a play along with um, the film that you did in year 12. Um, the A-level exam itself, right, let's get down to the nitty gritty, you can see what it is it really consists of. So we have 40% listening, reading and translation. Then the writing paper, the writing paper effectively is an essay um, on the film and the novel or the play and a short translation. And the speaking paper, now this is worth 30%, but the brilliant thing about the speaking is that you can do a research project on any topic of your choice, providing it is very closely linked to the, um, to the culture of that country. And the more unusual, the more narrow focus, the, the better. Um, so really, why would you come to Farlingay, particularly maybe if you're not here already? Well, we, we do have the variety. Every year our A-level runs in all three languages. Um, we're a big department. We're, we're big departments with 10 or 11 teachers um, every year, and all teachers have got first-hand knowledge of the language and the culture they teach. So some teachers are native speakers, but even those of us who aren't, we do really go to the countries as often as we can, and we really like to think that we know the culture and make that interesting for you. Now, Normally, um, visits and trips abroad are a major focus of what we do. So, um, in an ideal year, um, we had an exchange, for example, with, with France, with Clermont Ferrand. We did an exchange with Germany and also with Seville in Spain, um, and also trips. We do a trip to Berlin every year, and we have had one to, to Lyon, to the um, Festival of Light. And we do keep planning this trip to Paris, and as soon as restrictions change, we will get straight back onto that. We have annual scholarships, which are fully funded um, for uh, a stay in Germany for two of our teachers, uh, uh, two of our students, and teachers have all also benefited from extended stays in Germany. And my colleague, Mrs. Green, will explain a little bit more about this um, at the end. Um, if I can leave you with just something that always makes me smile, a little clip from my favourite film, you just might never, you never know when you might want to draw on those language skills and communicate in future. And if it's good enough for Colin Firth to ask someone to marriage him, I think it's good enough for all of us. You just never know when you might enjoy using that language. Um, as one of our Year 12 students said um, after the trip to Lyon, it felt kind of weird to be speaking English by the end of the trip. It was really cool. Um, one thing that always stuck with me when I was thinking about whether to take languages for A-level myself many, many decades ago um, was that somebody said to me, A-level um, A language students will be able to pick up a book at the end of their course and read it without any effort at all. We really do teach you to be fluent in that language at the end of the two years. Um, but you can listen to what some of our other students have to say about it. Um, I hope you will consider us. Many thanks. Hi, my name is William. I am new at this school and I joined in year 12 this year. This school offers both of the subjects that I wanted to do. I chose Spanish and French because they are very useful in life. I am hoping to study languages at university with another subject. Teachers are very helpful and supportive and I'm really enjoying lessons right now. Um, so I came um, to Farlingay from a different school uh, to study German and um, I'd say it's been a good experience. The teachers have been uh, really welcoming and um, I was a bit worried about whether it would be uh, a big step up from uh, GCSE but it, it's not really that bad because you kind of just go over like old grammar concepts and stuff uh, to start with just to like cement it in your in your memory. Um, I'd say taking a language is really good uh, if you're not sure uh, what to pick just because it kind of uh, leaves a lot of options open later on um, and there's lots of opportunities available. Well I've been at Fine Game 
for, for a month now. Um, I came from Thomas Mills. Um, I came for the sole purpose of taking Spanish. They didn't do it at school. Um, so, and so far, the, the teachers are really good. Um, if you have any problems, for example, um, well, the teachers are always free to help you with. Um, there's a var variety of trips that you can go on. Um, they seem really interesting, but with the current circumstances, I'm not so sure if it will go with. Um, but if it does, there's um, foreign exchanges, which is good for um, preparing yourself for the actual A-level exams. Um, so you can mix with the actual Spanish people um, and improve language skills. In terms of uh, the teaching and so on, um, I would, well, as I said before, I would highly recommend going to the school because well, the teaching is of a high quality, I would say, uh, as compared to a, a previous school. Um, and so far, yeah, the the atmosphere is um, is it's pretty good. I, I I like it. So yeah, I I would recommend going to Fallingate. So Fallingate is a PASH school, which I'm sure some of the other teachers will mention. And because of this, it means that the students here, particularly for German, have many opportunities for extracurricular activities and trips and various things. So the teachers are really well experienced here, which means that they can help you in loads of different ways and they know all the tips and tricks for exam technique and other related things. And the school offers loads of trips to the various countries that, of the languages that they teach, which gives you an opportunity to practice the skills that you've learned in lessons. I'm Mrs Green, the PASH coordinator at Fallingay. PASH is a global network of schools set up by the German Foreign Office to support the teaching and learning of German. Uh, we benefit enormously from our PASH membership. Uh, students in Year 12 can apply for fully funded scholarships which take place during the summer holidays. These include travel to Germany, accommodation, a German language course and uh, cultural activities. PASH also gives our six formers access to internships with uh, leading German companies such as Mercedes-Benz.